For a second time, Democrats have blocked a nearly $2 trillion COVID-19 bill, an aid bill to be specific, from passing forward. KCAU 9's Alexandra Lamone explains why Democrats are holding out. The country is burning. The country is burning. And your side wants to play political games. Senators clashed as they failed to reach an agreement on a nearly $2 trillion coronavirus response bill. Well, we have a basic philosophical conflict. Democrats blocked the Republican proposal. Oregon Senator Jeff Merkley calls it a slush fund for big corporations, like the airline industry. So they've invested $50 billion in profits during the good times in buying their own stock and giving huge bonuses uh, to, to their, their management. And then during a bad time, they want to say, but let the public bail us out. Republican senators say bipartisan negotiations were going well until House Speaker Nancy Pelosi showed up back in Washington and got involved. An angry Senator John Thune of South Dakota said the bill included many provisions Democrats want, like direct checks for Americans, increased unemployment insurance, and money for small businesses to pay their employees. That right there is $900 billion dollars going to workers. Thune says there is $500 billion worth of money for big corporations, but stresses that money will be given out as loans. And they all hire millions of employees in this country. So yes, we probably need to do something. But Democrats want transparency for how the money is spent and assurances it won't be used for things like executive bonuses. In Washington, Alexandra Limon.